In this video, I'll give you a roadmap to becoming a web developer in 2019. There are some different paths that you can take. There's front-end development, back-end development, and full-stack development. Front-end developers are responsible for the browser side of the website, so what the user sees and interacts with. This includes HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Back-end developers are responsible for the server side. This includes how the server handles requests, storing data in databases, authentication and security, APIs, etc. There are several technologies that backend developers could use. Some are Python, PHP, JavaScript, and Ruby. Then there's full stack developers. Full stack developers can perform the job functions of both front end and back end developers. And these are usually the highest paid developers. But what tools will you need? Well, you'll only need a text editor and a web browser. That's really all that you need. And these are free. For the text editor, I would recommend Visual Studio Code. If you haven't watched my Beginner's Guide to VS Code video, I would recommend that you watch that one next. I'll put a link to that in the description and here on the screen. For the browser, I would recommend Chrome. In my opinion, Chrome has the best developer tools built in. Firefox is okay, and I guess Edge, but whatever you do, don't use Internet Explorer. So if you're just getting started, I would recommend starting with front end development. The first things to learn are HTML and CSS. These are the building blocks of a website. Now these are not programming languages, but are markup languages. They tell the browser what the content of the page is and what it should look like. I'll include links below to my beginner's guides on those as well in the description below. Now, after learning the basics of HTML and CSS, you'll wanna go a, a little bit deeper into CSS and learn SAS and responsive layouts. SAS helps you write better structured CSS you're going to run across SAS, so you might as well get familiar with it. Responsive layouts ensure that the website looks good on any device. When you're building a website today, you have to start with the mobile experience first, since so many people will be viewing the website from a mobile device. Then you'll scale it up to the desktop experience. Next, you'll want to learn JavaScript. Start with plain vanilla JavaScript, no frameworks or libraries. JavaScript is a programming language. It's the programming language that makes the website do things. So it makes buttons work and requests and sends data and other things like that. Next, you'll want to learn basic deployment. First, you'll need a domain name. And there's a lot of sites out there where you can get domain names from. They're all fine, but I'd recommend Namecheap. There's a link in the description below. Then for hosting, if you're just starting out, I would recommend managed hosting with cPanel. It takes all the confusion out of hosting and it's really easy to set up. Again, there are a lot of hosting sites out there, but the one that I would recommend is InMotion. Link as well in the description below. Then you'll want to learn how to upload your site through FTP or SFTP. A good program for that is FileZilla. Now once you've learned the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and you have built and deployed some static websites, it would be possible for you to find an entry-level job as a front-end developer. Most companies will want you to know a framework, though, but some of them will allow you to learn as you go. To give yourself a better chance of getting a job as a front-end developer, you'd want to learn some frameworks next. For an HTML and CSS framework, I would recommend learning Bootstrap. And for the front-end JavaScript framework, I would recommend React. Look for more videos on those topics coming soon. Other things that you'll want to be familiar with are the basic command line, npm, git, and gulp. So that's front-end development. Now let's look at back-end development. The first thing you'll want to learn is a server-side language and framework. And the most popular ones, in my opinion, are Node.js, Python, and PHP. So with each of these, they have a framework that you'll want to learn. Node.js is Express, Python is Django, and PHP is Laravel. So just pick one of these. If you already know JavaScript, uh, then you may want to learn Node.js because it uses JavaScript. Python is a very popular and easy to learn language as well, and PHP is, is very popular as well. After that, you'll want to learn how databases work. So MySQL, MongoDB, Firebase, SQLite, uh, there's a lot of different databases out there, um, but I would recommend learning MySQL and MongoDB. Get familiar with both of those. And next you'll want to learn uh, deployment. So how to SSH into the server, how to use Git to transfer files to the server, 
how to work with NGINX, which is a software on the server. And then there's different platforms, AWS, uh, Heroku, there's many others. AWS is usually going to be overkill for uh, just starting out. It's for bigger projects. So you'll probably want to learn a bit about Heroku. And then there's virtualization. If there's multiple developers working on a project, everyone has to set up their environment the same, and that can be a pain. So Docker helps you to, to do that. You can set up a container that has your environment the way that you want it set up, and then you can share that container with others so that everything is identical. It makes it very simple. So then there's full stack development. So if you've gained experience in all of these different areas, then you will be considered a full stack rockstar developer. So let me know in the comments below what route you're taking. Do you want to start with front end development or back end development? Well, that'll be it for this video. As always, if this video has helped you in any way, like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching.